Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how I made my best friend's 21st birthday gift. This is the one right here. So I made one similar. Uh, it's this one right here, but that was for a guy. And it was the first one I made. And I wanted to up it up, girly it up. I really like how it turned out. It's the cutest thing ever. It took me three hours, but I don't care. But yeah, if you have someone who was turning 21 and you want to make them something really cute, celebrate their 21st birthday party or birthday, I suggest you take your time and if you have patience to do it. It's something cute. It's something that I know they will like. It was honestly my favorite thing to do. And I'm just so glad she loved it but yeah i'm gonna be showing you guys the items that i used in order to make this project this is the box that i bought from target some confetti paper to fill the box foam very crucial for the alcohol a hot glue gun some glitter and some glue some paint I only ended up using this pink one and this white one mixed together. Some sticks and some twine. And lastly, the star of the show, the alcohol. This specific one right here, the spicy tamarindo one, the Smirnoff, it's amazing. That's why I bought two. One for me, one for my friend. But oh my god, it's the only alcohol that I can drink that I won't gag that I won't make me feel like I have to throw up. It's so, 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 so delicious. Okay, so these are the ones that I bought. 90% of these bottles I have not tried, but they're the ones that I'm familiar with. So I bought them. I got the Ciroc, the Baileys, the Titos, the Smirnoffs, the Bacardi, Jack Daniels, Fireball. Some more Smirnoffs, Malibu, what is this, Captain Morgan, and lastly, the Bucanas. So right here, I started to cut up the foam in order to make it fit the box. I have never cut this type of foam before. It's not your typical styrofoam. Shit was hard, but I made it work. Now I'm starting to paint the sticks that are going to be hot glue guns to the back of the alcohol bottles. What I decided to do now was to make the banner. I started to fold and cut, uh, I would say about a one and a half inch piece of paper, fold it up because I was going to wrap the piece of paper around the twine in order for it to look like a banner. Here I'm just measuring out about how much I need, how much space I need in order to fit the letters into tiny banners. 
I decided to use a exacto knife in a, for this in order for it to be more precise, cleaner cut. What I'm doing here is writing out the letters on each banner in order for it to make it easier for me to trace it over with glue and put glitter on top of it. the twine to the sticks I thought that the banner would all fit in one twine but little did I know I was wrong so I decided to cut up another piece of twine and hot glue gun it to the bottom and just make it into two words two lines Just finishing up 
gluing the inside of the banners so they won't move around and they won't fall. I go ahead and put some of the confetti in there. I start hot glue gunning the sticks to the back of the alcohol bottles. I decided to use one for each of the plastic ones and two for the glass ones since they are pretty heavy. I decide to use hot glue instead of tape or regular glue because of the fact that it's sturdier and it snaps off really easily when you decide to take off the sticks. This is the fun but stressful part. I'm deciding where to put the bottles and since the banner is a little low, I decide to snap off more than half of the stick in order for them to be low enough for the banner to actually show. Now that I've decided where to put the bottle, I'm doing some finishing touches. I'm re hog glue gunning the bottles that kept falling off because that's gonna happen because I decided not to put a lot of hot glue. But yeah, this is the finishing product. I ended up loving it and I ended up putting a little more confetti paper at the bottom of it which just tied together really beautifully. So 